everyone. I'm here at Epcot for the Flower and Garden Festival. Now, if I were ranking festivals, I would have um, the Festival of Arts and the Festival of Holidays tied for my number one. Flower and Garden would be number three, and then number four would be Food and Wine. But Flower and Garden is truly a beautiful time to be at Epcot. I am coming in the International Gateway today. I was over at Disney Springs um, having brunch at homecoming. So I took the bus to the Yacht Club and walked over from there. Also, the Flower and Garden has a lot of food offerings. I probably will not be eating a lot of them because I had brunch at homecoming. That's a very filling meal. I highly recommend making the first stop of the festival, getting your festival passport. This little booklet will tell you everything you need to know about the festival. This book will tell you all of your festival offerings, like the topiaries, the outdoor kitchens, the Garden Rock concert series where you can see bands performing. I will not be doing that today, but that is something that is offered during the festival. Your festival merchandise, Darren Flower and Garden, it typically is very orange bird focused, which I love. And the Garden Grays. This is similar to Emile's Fromage Montage during the um, Food and Wine Festival, but you get five different foods and then you can get a treat at the end. I also highly recommend getting a gift card you can wear on your wrist at any of the little shops because you can put a balance on it and then you can keep up with how much you are spending at the festival if you're getting a lot of food. Since I'm not getting food today, I'm not going to get one, but here is one that I got at a previous festival. There is Winnie the Pooh and Rabbit. We've got Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore. Eeyore is my favorite. I'm thinking let's go meet Pooh. He is back in Christopher Robin's room now, so I haven't done that meet and greet yet. It's my first time meeting you here. Can we take a picture? It's good to see you. <laughs> Here's TikTok. And we have Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Good showcase the game is the best. Skunk and Thumper. And there's Bambi. Over here towards the front of the World Showcase area, you have the Honey Bistro. And there's some information about bees and about honey. Kind of bringing back the classic Epcot edutainment. Here is the menu. The menu has chicken and waffles, honey glazed cauliflower, liquid nitro honey mascarpone cheesecake. It smells amazing over here. It really smells good. Check out Goofy with the dandelions. Check out just how beautiful it is here. Gorgeous. There's Woody, Bo Peep, and the sheep between the Imagination Pavilion where Figment is and the Land Pavilion where you can find Soaring, there is a butterfly garden. So we are going to go check out some butterflies. beautiful but now it's time to ride the land the land usually does some sort of festival nod during it um, like food and wine they show where what some of the foods are that are in some of the dishes growing um, at the festival of holidays they have this really beautiful 
beautiful overlay. So we're gonna see what they have going on for Flower and Garden. All right, that was cool. Um, Red Living with the Land. There were some signs mentioning the Flower and Garden Festival. There was also these little Easter eggs. So throughout the ride, there were books and they said like Alice in Wonderland or the Little Mermaid, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then they had little things hidden throughout the gardens that were from those movies like Ursula's Crown. I don't know if you could hear me when I pointed that out during the video. I won't know till I edit it. But, and they had little gnomes for the seven dwarfs. It was just adorable. I really like that. But now let's check out the Lion King topiary. I don't see Rafiki this year. Last year they had a Rafiki holding a baby Simba. Oh no, he's over here. I found him. Have seared pork tenderloin, grilled straight corn on the cob, peach galette with gatlet. And it is over here beside creation. And test truck is through there. Here is French pot. It has the avocado toast, biscuits and gravy, fried cinnamon roll bites. There's a fruit loop shake. I had the fried cinnamon roll bites last year. They were really, really good. Highly recommend them. But I'm not getting them today. Like I mentioned, I'll be back in a couple of days and my husband will be with me. And I have a feeling he's gonna want fried cinnamon bites too. So I'll probably just get them then. This is where you get your orange bird sipper. I have one of these at home. For the menu, this looks like it's a little better light. So we have orange sesame tempura shrimp, lemon meringue pie, orange lemon smoothie, and the orange bird sipper. I did more of the festival merchandise too. Like a little solar light. You got your salt pepper shaker, orange for a trash can. Mug, it looks like you can squeeze your own orange juice in it. Cup, cute little shirt. Orange bird ears, I may end up buying those before I leave. Aren't you glad you met me? Oh, that's cute. Here is the spirit jersey. This is the orange bird lounge fly from this year. It looks like maybe, does he go up and down? Oh, yeah. Hmm. I have last year's orange bird lounge fly, which I love. It was a birthday gift and it is just adorable. And this looks like some cocoa merch. There is a group topiary that plays music near Cosmic Rewind. I forgot to walk over there and get that. Um, 
So I'll be writing Cosmic Rewind in a couple days too, and I'll insert some footage of it then, because I hate to have to backtrack. Mexico pyramid, you will find all these beautiful no, orchids. Waiting in a line, but... Here's Anna and Elsa. This is my favorite every year, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Lady in the Tramp Papier. Here in the America Pavilion is where you have your garden rock. Here right across from the American Adventure. This is the Tropical Slush. It's got lemonade, grapefruit juice, and simple syrup. This is tart, very tart. So this is what it was, the tropical slush right here. It was four fifty. It is tart. I mean, you'd expect lemon and grapefruit to be tart, but. Here is Hogsworth and Lumiere. Thanks for watching my Flower and Garden Festival video. I really enjoyed making it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, I'm going to link some of my other festival videos so that you can see what some of the other Epcot festivals are like and see what you think your favorite would be. Thank you again for all of your support. It means the world to me. Bye-bye.